Taylor Swift has become a cultural icon in recent years, with billions of fans around the world. But did you know that his influence isn't just limited to music? The pop star from West Reading, Pennsylvania, has become a major economic powerhouse. The phenomenon even goes so far as to have a name, Econoswift, or Swiftonomy, to designate the impact of its success. Its contribution to the economy is undeniable. In an article from October 2023, the Washington Post recognizes that the singer brings billions to the American economy. Bloomberg claims the era's tour generated as much money as the GDP of some small countries. The U.S. Federal Reserve, Fed, noted an improvement in hotel revenues in Philadelphia, for the month of May 2023, since the start of the pandemic the reason. Taylor Swift fans came to attend a concert of the singer. According to the Fortune magazine, Chicago recorded a record number of hotel reservations during the three days of concerts. That the artist gave in the city, according to the American Tourist Office, the occupancy rate was on average 96.8%. The same thing happened in Mexico Taylor Swift gave four concerts in the city. Capital of the country in August 2023. According to the newspaper El Pace Mexico, these events generated more than 54 million euros. The superstar's concerts are important for the local economy thanks to fans spending around the event. This generally includes transportation costs to get to the concert, food, accommodation, merchandise, sightseeing, and purchases of all kinds. Indeed, according to the American Polling Institute Question Pro, the singer's fans spend on average €1,190 for a concert. In the United States alone, tickets cost around the equivalent of €233. Euros. The same platform estimates that the economic impact of the tour could reach 4.5 billion euros. This figure exceeds the GDP of around 50 small countries. Beyond the concerts, the concert film, Taylor Swift, The Era's Tour, directed by Sam Wrench, which retraces the artist's lucrative tour, will be available from March 15, 2024 on Disney Plus and has already dethroned the documentary, This Is It, by Michael Jackson, released in 2009. Revenues have already reached 239.36 million euros worldwide, according to the Variety. This is it, brought in this same figure only in cinemas. Forbes estimates Taylor Swift's fortune at 1.01 billion euros. His net worth includes over 457 million euros from royalties and touring. The rest comes from his music catalog and around 114 million euros in real estate. In just one year, the singer is also one of the 100 most powerful women in the world established by Forbes, from 79th place in 2022, she moved to 5th in 2023, behind Ursula von der Leyen, Christine Lagarde, Kamala Harris and Georgia Maloney. Taylor Swift is already an icon. Time magazine voted her the 2023 Woman of the Year, while People named her the most exciting person alive. The Taylor Swift phenomenon is starting to be studied even in universities. As explained by the Spanish newspaper El Pace, in Europe, a professor from the University of Ghent, Belgium, explores in her courses the relationship between the singer's hits and the classics of English literature between the 9th and the 19th century. Harvard, one of the most prestigious universities in the world, also offers a course on the singer, which traces Taylor Swift's lyrics and analyzes their impact on culture and society. In 2020, the singer showed her support for Joe Biden by publishing, on her Twitter account, a photo of cookies bearing the president's name. Given her immense influence, Republicans fear that she will publicly support the Democrat and once again mobilize the vote. Will it have a role to play in the next American elections which will be held on November 5th? Host Jimmy Kimmel joked about the influence Taylor Swift could have on the election, saying neither scandals nor lawsuits will stop the Republican nominee. What will ultimately bring down Donald Trump is an army of angry Swifties, he said. Taylor Swift is currently on a world tour. The era's tour began on March 17, 2023 in Glendale, Arizona and will end on December 8, 2024 in Vancouver, Canada. 
In 2024, the singer will have to travel across several continents and, according to analysts, it will be the most lucrative show of all time.